No, I don't know. I've never really used this, but I hear good things about it. We'll see. <laughs> Holy moly. Beautiful. I have two governor's tacos ready to eat, but before we do that, I want to show you how this sauce and meat turn into governor's tacos dude style. Let's do it. To start our tacos gobernardo or, or, or governor's tacos, I don't know how you pronounce it. We start with a drink and that is just to help us get the mood set. Going with the Corona light. Open it up. Pour it in. All right, let's get this started. The first thing we want out of the gate is to take a pan and some butter, throw it in there. This is about six tablespoons of butter. And I'm just gonna melt it down and then I'm gonna take this onion, cut it in half, cut it up, throw it in there. So what I'm doing is I'm going almost all the way through that onion. Now I keep a little bit of it attached on the very back, but just look how easy it is to cut this bad boy up. We're gonna move our onions off to the side because now it's time for our Plabano pepper. Let's cut the top off. I'm gonna cut out the insides of this too because I really don't want the ribs and I don't want, well, the seeds. I'm okay with a little bit but cut it down the center. And I'm just gonna cut this into strips. All right, with our butter melted, I think it's time for our onions and peppers to go into the pan. Start with our onions, throw in our peppers, all right, we're gonna cook these down until the onions start getting translucent, and then we'll continue on. Because I can't have shrimp at all right now, I'm gonna make these governor's tacos out of ground beef, and I'm using 8515. I'm gonna use two pounds of it. Get in there, mash it up, Put it onto the Cuisinart 360 griddle and let it cook down. All right, here's our seasoning we're putting in. One teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of pepper, and a whole teaspoon of salt. With our onions and peppers cooking away, I think it's time for us to put in our sauce mix. Give it a good stir. And now we need to give it some time to let all those flavors fuse together. I am adding pico de gallo to this because I want the juice from the tomato and the cilantro to just add flavor to this. Our onions and peppers, tomatoes, all that has been cooking for about 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna put some chipotle peppers because I'm looking for that adobo sauce in there. I may not necessarily use the chipotle peppers when it's time, but man, I'm going to use that adobo. Our beef is done. Our sauce is done. All right, I'm going to turn the heat way down and just let this fuse together. While our meat and sauce fuse together for that amazing flavor, we need one more item, and that is cheese. And we're using Mexican cheese. Oaxaca, I think is how you pronounce it. I don't know. But anyhow, we're gonna use it. We're gonna layer it onto our tortillas, let it melt. Mm. But we gotta grate it first, so let's do it. This is our block of cheese, so we're just gonna start grating it. a lot of cheese. Looks like our taco meat and seasoning is done, so let's remove it. We'll 
take two of these locally made tortillas. They're made by Rodriguez, and they're out of Fruitland, Idaho. So we'll let them just cook on this one side, and we'll give them a flip. All right, that's been about 45 seconds. Let's flip them. Excellent. Let's lay our cheese down on here. And we want our cheese to melt on here, almost like, you know, a quesadilla. All right, with our cheese melting in there, let's lay in some of our taco meat. This is the governor's taco, but like I said, right now, I can't have seafood. I'm gonna just flip this over kind of give it that look like a, almost like a quesadilla. Look at this, look at these flip to the other side. They're staying together pretty well. All right, let's just take a look at this. See, excellent. Take them off. Tell me those don't look good. I can hardly wait to try this. That is really good. That cheese in there just adds flavor, along with our, you know, the sauce that we cook that meat in. It's fantastic. But there's a couple things I want to add to this. One is some pico, and another little bit is crema mexican. Just want to see. How that works on here. No, I don't know. I've never really used this, but I hear good things about it. We'll see. <laughs> Holy moly. Beautiful. Oh my God. I'm gonna be honest with you. That flavor is just all over the place. It's like a party in your mouth. The pico, the crema mexican, the sauce that we made in that meat. Oh man. All right, you saw how we made it. This is for our Cinco food collab, hashtag Cinco food collab. Make sure to check out everybody else, appreciate it. If you make this, tell me how it goes. Really appreciate you stopping by. Love you. Peace. Hang loose, guys. This stuff is some of the best food I've ever made.